Hey, hey, here we are about ready to participate mm. in our local Cupid's Chase 5K. Yeah, it's a rather chilly uh, 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That's a, that's zero, if my math is correct, <laughs> yeah. Celsius. Yeah. So um, I uh, we both uh, layered up quite a bit. Yeah. And uh, go going to go for a little run. It should be 34 by the time we finish, though, Ooh, so that'll be nice. A nice toasty 34. You know, <laughs> uh, our, our wrap-up, we're going to talk about the bumps we encountered this week. It's been a... How, how do you put it? It was a long month this week. It was a long month this week. Very, very long. This was a, this week was a doozy. Yeah. So yeah. why don't you come with us on this run, and then we'll see you in a bit to talk about it and other things. Yes. Come on, let's go. It is really cold. <laughs> Oddly enough, though, I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. Darn it, I think I overdressed. <laughs> but we're having fun. <laughs> this is nice. Hey, hey, everybody. Here we are. Man, we ran a frigid 5K. At least we had sun and no moisture. Mm -hmm. But it was cold out there. It was pretty windy. It was windy too. and it was cold. Yeah, so we started the race at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and we finished the race at 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Before that, though, I was like, you know what we should do? We should get there as late as possible. That didn't happen. We got there early because that's just what we do. Yeah. But uh, we need to roll up to the start line right when they say go because yeah. I don't want to stand out in this yeah. weather. And, and that's we exactly did. what we did. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. We started at the back of the pack. It was great. Yeah. Um, really, really nice. Uh, Cupid's Chase. We have done it every year that we've lived in this little town. Here's yes, our shirt right. from the first one that we did yeah, back in 2017. And now we have a oh, yeah, yeah. shirt from uh, this run. I think the shirt design this year is adorable. I really, really like this. I really like it. Yeah. Um, nice. we've got it. Long sleeve texture. It's really yeah. nice. So we got uh, that. And got that. they gave us medals this year. This was the first year they did <clears> this, <throat> but they gave us some really cool. Get my little. My little tap on it. There we go. Yeah. Metal. Really cute. So it was good. It was a good race. Mm -hmm. It was, um, even though, so it starts in the park where we normally run. Mm -hmm. We have run this some variation of this route many times, either in this race or in our trainings. Yeah. We didn't remember those hills being that steep, which is weird because yeah. the hill that got us was like normally where we are at the end of one of our very long runs. So yeah. you'd think we would be like yeah. highly aware of how hilly, how steep that hill was. Yeah. But it really surprised yeah. us both. But about, we made it. About three quarters in, about three quarters <laughs> into the run, I, I told three her. Three quarters okay. mile? Three quarters of a mile. Yeah, three quarters of a mile into the run, I told Lauren, "Did you realize that this was uphill?" I, w I, and I was just thinking the same thing. Like at that moment, yeah. I had no idea it was that. So the first mile and a half was uphill, and then the last mile and a half was mm -hmm. downhill. It was really, really nice, and we ran a very good. 
for us, respectable time of... Yeah, like uh, 34 minutes? Yeah, 34 minutes. Actually, that was the clock time. No, I think we ran like 33 minutes. 33, yeah. It was great. Great for us. We feel really mm -hmm. good. Uh, and it, it was really nice. Uh, and I think uh, as runners, uh, you you know this, it's just nice to be part of an organized run, right? Like uh, just a ton of people there, all having fun, dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, oh man, a bunch uh, of dudes out tutus, there. Tutus, you know, music, all that kind of stuff. So it, it was very, it was very nice. Yeah. It, was, it was nice to, uh, uh, you know, just run. You know, at the end of the race too, I had this, I, I observed a very like heartwarming moment uh, between a, a woman who finished like right behind us. Um, I'm sure if we get our finish line photos, she'll be like right behind us. Yeah. She crossed the finish line and her, you know, boyfriend or husband or whoever it was, uh, was like, oh, you did it. Oh, you crushed it. Great job. And she was like, I ran the whole thing. Uh, I'm like, yeah, oh, man, that's, that's such awesome. a like cool feeling yeah. to like do that yeah, for the first time. Awesome. You know? Way so, to go, whoever you yeah. are. Uh, Good fellow, on you. Fellow runner. Yeah. Um, so that was that. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Uh, we wanted to talk about, uh, as you know, Run Streak. Hey, it's day three of our February. We're done it. <laughs> yeah, day three. intro it was a so how do you say it again it was a really long month this week oh yeah it was a very long month this week so our week started off uh on monday afternoon we took our millie dog to the vet um as you know we've mentioned before she has a wound on her leg mm -hmm. which happens to be a leg where she had surgery previously mm -hmm. um and that wound was infected mm -hmm. so after like a week and a half of antibiotics we took her back to the vet for a little follow-up uh, wherein we learned it has not improved at all, even though we thought it looked better. Yeah. It hasn't improved at all. Yeah. And she needs to go in for surgery tomorrow to get that plate removed because we don't want her bone to get infected. So at 3 p.m. on Monday, we learned that Millie was going in for surgery at 8 a.m. on Tuesday. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty scary. Pretty scary. And yeah, we didn't have time to be, like, nervous about it. Yeah. So, and, and, um... Uh, the surgeon that did the original uh, surgery, she's she's fantastic. Wonderful. She's actually done all of Millie's surgeries. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's right. And yeah. everybody there, all is of them. Fantastic. Our dog has had just multiple surgeries. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic place. Yeah. And, but we were just uh, beside ourselves because th that's rough, man. And um, so what they told us that they were going to have to do was open her leg up and remove the plate that was there. Uh, from previous surgery years ago and then uh, stitch her back up and uh, see how it went so the good news was we got to take her home that day yeah she came home her, same her day other surgery she's had to stay overnight uh, and that just breaks my heart because she's a rescue dog i don't want her to think yeah. we've left her yeah you know like it just it kills yeah. me she, so she we got is, to get her that afternoon yeah, she is a rescue dog and we love her and uh we're the only ones she loves so <laughs> the rescue she hates yeah. so much uh, the, the even better news was uh she did great. Yeah. And she a got champion. she got an awesome medal for uh for the surgery. You guys they gave us a little baggie that had her you know, multiple antibiotics that she's now on and you know pain pills and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. And there was this little Ziploc baggie in there and I was like, um is that her plate that you took out? You guys are going to give this to us? <laughs> so, uh, we have Millie's plate now. We we're trying to decide what to do to it. Yeah. I think it would be be like a really cool necklace, but at the same time that's pretty messed up. Like I don't think I want to wear this as a necklace. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Um, cool. but I don't know what we're going to do with it. We're going to do something neat with this yeah. stinking plate that's yeah. causing her so much distress. She was chewing her leg off. Hey, if anybody has any ideas, let us know because we really do. I mean, we're we're uh, so we have we have a yeah. you know, yeah. doggy orthopedic plate now. But with that said, yeah. uh, we really had to keep an eye on uh, Millie, uh, we couldn't leave her alone, uh, right? I mean, she's got her cone of champions on. So, so the first day, so uh, no, wait, Tuesday. 
We take her for surgery. We're both nervous wrecks. We mm-hmm. finally get to pick her up in the afternoon. We come back. She's drugged to bejesus and back, and oh, like yeah. she can't move, yeah. and she can't put like it took us twenty minutes to figure out how to get her out of the car. Yeah. It took us fifteen minutes to get her in the car, yeah. and twenty minutes to get her out of it because she was like so yeah. zonked. Yeah, we have this uh, car cover uh, for the back seat for her. We had to kind of <laughs> we like, burritoed her. Yeah, we, and pulled her we, out. We used like a big bur- uh, like a big tortilla and wrapped her and kind of like pulled her out. And oh, she's like, oh. tortilla is my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was a mess, y'all. And then, like, she couldn't stand it. Like, I had to, like, give her a little boost yeah, every time she tried to stand up because she couldn't put any weight on her leg. And it was just like, mm. and we're like, I don't think this is going to happen. Mm. Like, I don't think this run is going to happen. Let's just, we'll do our little workout at home mm. and fine. So we did our little workout because we're also doing this other, like, yeah. you know, Apple Fitness thing. Yeah. And then at the end of it, it's like, you know what? We're going to run around the block. Yeah. So I ran around the block. It wasn't a mile. It's uh, Our block is a third of a mile. So I ran a third of a mile, got home. David ran a third of a mile. So we kept running on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, we did the same thing. Mm-hmm. I ran a half a mile or a, quarter, a third of a mile. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's a the fraction? Just run a block. <laughs> and then you ran it. And then, then what happened, Davey? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Pause. You uh, February's been weird. Yeah. Remember we told you we had that massive freeze, right? That freeze came. Uh, it hit per- quickly. Uh, we went out for a walk before the oh, like, terrible This freeze. is our last chance yeah, to let's, leave let's, the house for there. three days. Let's go for a walk. Um, it's not frozen yet. It shouldn't be frozen right. yet. And uh, I slipped and fell. Found some ice. There's no ice anywhere. David, find some ice. Yeah, and it was it was crazy. I've never, mm-hmm. this has never happened to me before. But in an instant, I was on my back, pain, on, you know, in the back of my head, pain in my elbow. And I'm like, what happened? It was unbelievably yeah. quick and it was scary as all get out, right? So I'm laying on the ground and, you know, my ears are ringing. And I, you know, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it was like, whoa. It, and then the weird thing, like, here's the deal. My feet went out from under me. He landed on his back. I landed on my back. Somehow, I tore... He skinned his knee. My knee up. He tore his pants, skinned his knee, banged his knee. Like, I don't... We're, we're still trying to figure out how it happened. I landed on my back. I think maybe his leg went... Doop, and then, like, in falling backwards, yeah, it popped back around. So, know. who knows? So, here's the deal We with should that. get the doorbell footage from across the street. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, can you check the archives? Tell us what the heck happened over yeah. here. So, here's... Here's the uh, the real negative of that. Um, I th- pretty sure I hyperextended my knee uh, because after the the first run around the block, it was really hurting me in a way it's never hurt before. And I'm like, why is it hurting me? Why? What did I do? What did I do? And then the second run around the block, I'm like, it's when I fell because I still have this scab on my knee. Ow. Um I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I hyperextend my knee. And it was not feeling great. It, it, and then running every day, like, I'm just like, oh gosh, it. oh my gosh. So, uh, what we decided to do was we took a couple ice days it, off, elevate it, and rest. Mm-hmm. So, so, our run streak ended. It paused. If you days. recall, our February run streak also started two days late because of that freeze. Yeah, well, so we're right. all over the place with this yeah. thing. I think we can yeah. pick it back up. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. if your knee feels better. Yeah. But we're just, you know, like we are. What's this? We're just being flexible. Life is being weird. So six days. But six days. But two we days learned a lot off because you had to rest because yeah. of an injury. But yeah. then we ran today. Yeah, so yeah. we're, you know, yeah, yeah. it's okay. We learned a lot though about running every day. Uh, it like, hurt. <laughs> it hurt. It don't, was not comfortable. Don't have enough socks. <laughs> Don't have enough doing underwear. laundry all week long. Yeah, we don't do laundry like every other oh, day. God. We're going to do laundry every other day. Yeah. So, yeah. so if we if we do actually make it to a full week plus, uh, we're going to be doing like a midweek laundry, <laughs> yeah. running running clothes uh, laundry. Yeah. Without, but I am going um, to ice my knee. I'm yes. going to elevate my knee. I'm going to I'm going to try to take it uh, take it kind of cheesy uh, because we're signed up for. A half marathon where we get to eat all the ice cream. So that was that was the thing that like I think kind of made us like reassess the run streak. I was like, okay, if we if we think you're injured, Mm -hmm. is it more important for us to say that we ran every day for the equivalent of February, or is it more important for us to take care of ourselves and be able to run this half marathon next month? Yeah, right. The half marathon is more important. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So uh Today, during this uh, 5K, we ran the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and Again, mostly uphill. 
Yeah, mostly on half uphill. uphill yeah. And half steep downhill. And, uh, and my knee's doing okay. It feels mm -hmm. a little weird. It's like it doesn't hurt like it was the uh, day before yesterday. It just feels kind of weird. So I think that's good. I'm going to continue to log in to take care of it because we got that half marathon coming up pretty soon. I mean, it's in like six, seven weeks. Oh, you can eat ice cream. I mean, Yay! you're going to. Uh, we wish, it is really we, yeah, we wish you could be there. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, we'll, we'll share I'm with you. so looking yeah. forward to this. So yeah. th that's pretty exciting. Man, what a month we had this past week. <laughs> Can next week be like shorter <laughs> or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and. Oh, well, next week we're trying to register for the race. So that's, that's right. That's going to be a weird Tuesday. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, congrats to all of you who uh, registered for Disneyland and got in. Because we know a lot of people did on Tuesday. We get our opportunity this coming Tuesday on Valentine's Day, and so wish us luck. Uh, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get in. Hopefully we can. If not, we've got plenty of backup plans, uh, plenty of ideas. Uh, so, man, let us know how you're doing. We really like hearing from you. And if you haven't, please subscribe. But let us know. Uh, if you like this video and hit the notifications button because we do our best to upload every week. We're, we're pretty consistent. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, coming up on two years of doing this every week. Holy mackerel. Uh, we're running six miles a week from today. Mm -hmm. So we'll have plenty to share with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, man. Oh. You know, it's always an adventure with you. Yeah. We'll see you next week.